What's up, YBE family? Uh, today, we're going to talk about starting your kids off early. Basically, man, you need to make hustlers out your kids, man. Legal hustlers. Uh, I started a project with my kids, and I was picking on them at first, and I called my daughter Poodle Noodle. I used to play with her all the time like that. And basically, uh, I started them a business called Poodle Noodle. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to pick a neighborhood. All right, pick a neighborhood that's good. Like in the Chicago area, I would say go toward the Hyde Park area. And you go, um, after you pick the neighborhood, first thing you do, bam, done. Next, find some cheap candy. Find some cheap candy where you could double your price. Um, Chicago, you could go to that candy store, I think it's on 70 something State Street, that candy warehouse, and you know you could make a good profit off of that. So now you got your candy, now you got your neighborhood picked out. So now you want to increase your profit. Um, some of us, you know what I'm saying, some of the people, you know, that I, I'm going to, basically they get food stamp assistance. Take $70 out your stamps, $50 out the stamps, whatever you could afford. And um, go and buy $50 worth of candy. Now, $50 worth of candy, make sure that it should be able to at least make you $100. Now, for the people who don't get food assistance, and this is for the people who well off too, it don't matter if you rich or if you middle class and you make a lot of money, you still want to instill this grind in your kid because you don't want them to end up thinking that they got to marry rich or you don't want them to end up thinking that um that they they not able to make money legally or, or that they, they could just feed, eat off of you. You know what I'm saying? You put this hustle with them, that'll make them want to get out and do it themselves. And they'll understand how it feels to be successful at something you do and be able to go off and enjoy the fru fruits of your labor. All right, so next, increasing your profit for the people who um, don't get food stamp assistance. Okay, where I stay at in Indiana, they do the food stamps. Um, They give you dollar for dollar, which means that if you get them $30, they give you $60. If you give them 60, they give you 120. So let's just say you say, all right, I'm gonna invest $50 into my kids. $50, and then you get $100 for the stamps, 50 to 100. So you know already double their money already on the stamps. So now you got $100 worth of candy you could buy. $100 worth of candy gonna get you $100 worth of candy in retail value. You gonna buy it for 100 and sell it for 200, pretty much retail candy. So now for $50, you just got $200 worth of product. Drug dealers don't even triple up like that. They don't. Um. So now, after you do that, you chose the neighborhood, something like High Park, and you take your kids, and they go out through the neighborhood knocking on doors. And they sell the candy, and you tell them to tell the truth. Like, my mother said that she wants me to learn that I can make money legally, and I started my own candy business. They gonna, I'm telling you, people eat it up. Have them go out door to door, knock on doors. You can sit out in the car and watch them. Nah, they making their money. You want them to do a budget. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't seen the budget video, I'm going to remake one and repost it again. And it's going to be more clear. I ain't like the last one too much. Um, And you can set up at work. Set up at work if it's possible. Don't endanger your job. But at my job, it was easy for me to set up. At your job, finesse who you got to finesse so you could just set up like, can I um put a candy box right here with a jar? Long as your, you know, long as they honest there. And if somebody steal, you cannot get mad. I had people steal from my box. You can't say nothing because nine out of 10 is a distraction for people and they'll get mad anyway. So you just don't say nothing. If it's too much, take the candy out of there. It can't be trusted. But if, if it's just a steal here and there, don't even act like you don't even see it. Basically, what you teaching your cow, child right there is what a residual income is. While your baby is at school, they making money while you at work. And last but not least, on the weekends, had them go sell for themselves. So they business is making money while they're at school and they making money on the weekends. And last but not least, when it's time to go spend and they want that new Xbox or that new iPhone, you be like, baby, your business made $775 last month. You can afford to go buy your own iPhone. And I'm so proud of you. Do your thing. I hope it helped y'all because it damn sure helped me. And here comes some clips of my daughter's business, Poodle Noodle. You already know what time it is. YBE, if you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Today, we're going to do a 
with this. Number one, North Carolina, 17 30, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72, oh, 72, oh, 2. $72.02. So you made $72 in two hours. Cool, no, you already know. Time for YBTV. Why don't you? And you watching YBETV. Oh, hey, shout outs to YBETV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shout outs to YBETV. Yeah